Britain is under pressure to put tighter controls on its radioactive materials after it's emerged that hazardous substances have gone missing in numerous locations over the last decade. Manufacturing industries, nuclear reactors and even schools are implicated in a list obtained by RT from the Health and Safety Authority. Some of the materials are volatile enough to be sought by terrorists. RT Sarafath reports. Businesses, universities, uh, firms that have been using uh, radioactive and uh, often very dangerous materials had in some cases mislaid or, or even lost those materials. Now we've been going through the documentation, Dean, I've got a copy of it uh, here with me now. And uh, what's incredible about it is that this isn't just a one or two incidents, this has happened more than 30 times over the last decades. And you see things uh, like depleted uranium, you've got cesium-137. One of the incidents we saw the Royal Free Hospital named. Uh, and now in that incident, incident it was uh, cesium-137 that had gone missing and that had been used for treatment of a cancer patient. Uh, and if you look at what it actually says describing that material, it says that it had the potential to cause significant radiation uh, injuries to anyone handling it or even uh, indirectly coming into contact with it for even a short period of time. Just going down the list here, and you've got a veritable who's who of big names in British industry. You've got uh, Rolls-Royce in Derby that uh, have been creating the reactors for Britain's nuclear subs. Uh, whilst some of these incidents have uh, been prosecuted, while some of the firms have been prosecuted, uh, many of the incidents on here have actually uh, seen those involved and the culprits get away with little more than a written warning. And nuclear consultant John Large explains how easy it would be for terrorists to use some of the leaked materials. Well, if you take one, one substance, for example, was uh, cesium and, and yttium, those two materials, what you need to do there, if you was a terrorist, you had uh, evil intent, then all you'd need to do is to ignite, burn or detonate a conventional explosive pack near that material to disperse it as a fine vapor in the air. And that makes it respirable, it makes it, uh, it becomes a contaminant. So for example, a scenario, a scenario in a city would be to actually explode or burn this material at a high level, say in the tower block, or say in a city like Moscow, to actually burn it on the metro system, on the tube system, and let the trains pump round the radioactive atmosphere around the metro system and that would be very very difficult to decontaminate and control because the gas would be pumped around by the trains going through the tunnels into each station.